you know what I said I would do I said I would do the other bit later but I'm just gonna do it now man all right it's just some people's walking past and I don't want any of these bog outs trying to talk to me man all right this is Romans chapter 9 and verse 23 and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he have afore prepared unto glory even us whom he have called not of the Jews only but also of the Gentiles and that's where people will start trying to slide themselves into the salvation of the Israelites but they're not in there because when, when it's saying the Gentiles it's pretty much just talking about those Israelites that was cast away through all the different slaveries that the Israelites went through to making them be scattered verse 25 as he also as he saith also in Ose which is talking about Hosea right I will call them my people who are not my people and beloved which was not beloved and that's talking about us because we ain't considered as beloved in this world people call us black people call us Mexican people call us Native American people call us Red Indian people call us Jamaican right people call us black British they'll call us anything outside of what we actually are and when we say what we actually want to be called because we know that's that's who we are they don't want to accept that but they'll accept some people wearing some stupid hats on their head right head banging in the, in, in, in the land of Israel smacking their head off walls they'll accept that they're the chosen but they don't want to accept that we are verse 26 and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them ye are not my people there shall you be called the children of the living power right which is talking about that's talking about the prophecy of Jeremiah 9 and I mean Jeremiah 23 and verse 7 where it goes into how we're not going to say anymore the Lord liveth Yahweh liveth which brought up the Israelites from the land of Egypt but we're going to say Yahweh liveth which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel from the north country and all those other places where they was where they were scattered right where he'd driven them because once they see that we get taken from among the heathen right and also the scripture in Revelation where it says and their enemies beheld them they're going to know that we're the chosen right because Yahweh is going to say come up here come up here my people that's what he's going to do verse 27 Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel so it's letting it be known that that 24th verse is referring to the Israelites right where it mentions Gentiles because it's saying that Isaiah or in verse 7, 27 it says Isaiah which is talking about Isaiah it's saying Isaiah also cried also crieth concerning Israel right Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel though the number of though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea a remnant shall be saved right and Israel did say that and he also said except the Lord had left a very small remnant we would have been a Sodom and we would have even been like unto Gomorrah right but Yahweh has made a remnant of people that are going to call upon his name wherever they are man they might call upon his name in the woods man right they might call upon his name while they're, while they're sleeping in a tent they might call upon his name from their from in their car they might be homeless and call upon him they might they might be in prison and they call upon him wherever they are they're going to call upon the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai man and they might be in a flipping North Pole man and they're definitely going to be in America which is Babylon the Great they're definitely going to be there because that's going to be the greatest salvation that any Israelites ever received. What salvation is going to come for those people that are in the land of America? And they're going to have a very beautiful story to tell when, forever, for all generations, once they get saved out of that place, man. Verse 28 For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will Yahweh make upon the earth. And he's going to, that is going to be a short work because Revelation 18 and 1 goes into how in one hour. So great riches is going to come to naught in one hour. Your house is going to destroy the whole land of America, man, with nuclear fire. Verse, verse um, 29. As Isaiah said before, see, I didn't even know it was going to say this. And as, as I as and as Isaiah said before, except the Lord of Sabaoth had left a, had left us a seed, we had been as Sodom, and we'd have and and been made like unto Gomorrah. What shall we say then? That the Gentiles which followed after righteousness have a which that the Gentiles which followed not after righteousness because when you read the book of Maccabees right there was a whole bunch of Israelites that followed after the heathens customs and even went so far as to say that they're not Israelite no more and you can read about that in First Maccabee First Maccabees the first chapter right Second Maccabees the fourth chapter and Second Maccabees the sixth chapter but then on the other side you had Israelites that of the type that's in the second Maccabees the seventh chapter right which is where that mother and her, and her sons got put to death because they didn't want to eat pork verse um, 30 
what shall we say then? That the Gentiles which followed not after righteousness have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith, because they, there were certain people of the elect that I was that was of this of those types of Israelites that didn't fall after the Lord during that time, and they, and then they had generations that formed after them to where they wouldn't have known that they're Israelites, right? But they they were members of the elect. There were members of the elect among them, right? And there was also members of the elect that was among those people, those Israelites that did keep the laws. Verse 30, what shall we say then? That the Gentiles which followed not after righteousness have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, have not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, meaning why? Because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. For they stumbled at the stumbling stone, and that stumbling stone was Yahweh Shai. So if those Israelites would have followed after the laws of Yahweh and they would have believed in the sacrifice that he gave for their sins, which was that stumbling stone, then they would have been even greater than those that didn't do those things, right? But we know that Yahweh did this on purpose so that he could be make it be known, as it said already in verse 15, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So Yahweh is going to have compassion on all of those that ultimately just believe in him. Right, but doing works is not a wicked thing, keeping the laws is not a wicked thing. But don't try and push your zeal for the law on another man. But then, at the same time, another man's not gonna, or another woman is not just gonna stay remain in sin and be wicked like how all the heathen nations are. And the true, actual, real Gentiles, not the Gentiles that's broken of about Israelites that turned away from the hour. Verse 32 Wherefore, because they sought it. Because wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by works of the law, for they stumbled at the stumbling stone, as it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offence, and whosoever believe on him shall not be ashamed. So ultimately, no matter whether you was keeping the law or not, if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, it's as though you did nothing, right? Because Yahweh Shai was the sacrifice for our sins. Because even under the law, where we were still committing sins, and had to, to follow a part of the law by where we produce a sacrifice for our sins right and lord will that was edifying lesson right and i'm going to end the lesson there all praises to howard by shami how shy by shama kakwadash double honestly possibly i was a great person and shallow warm to the nation